Okay, so here we are in TerraSync. So I'm just uh, showing up on the screen here. This is what I'm actually looking at on I'm, I'm on a GOXH right now. Um, show you quick, quick here. Amazingly, I am indoors in my office. I do have my external antenna near a window, and I'm hitting 14, 15 satellites, 2.5 inch accuracy. This is a Geo 6000, actually a centimeter edition. So I'm hitting, hitting you know, five centimeters, something like that. But uh, <laughs> pretty impressive for, for being indoors. So I will pop into my data screen here. I already have a file open. Uh, I've got some different features in here, tree, hydrant, street sign, sidewalk, etc. So if I start up a line feature, so I'll pop into this sidewalk here. So I'm going along. Top right, I've got my little pencil icon. I'm, I'm mapping that line. I'm walking along. I'm going to say, OK, it's paved, and it's in good condition, and I'm going to say it's four feet wide. Um, so all of a sudden, I get to a section now where it, it say it changes to dirt. So I would simply up top right, I would say options, segment line. Up top, you notice feature stored. It would store that, that existing segment of that line with those attributes. And now I could simply go into there, and I could change it to dirt. And maybe now it's only three feet wide. And I'd be going, going, going. I'd be mapping that, that second segment. If, again, it, say it changes back to paved, options, segment line, go ahead and change it to paved, and I'd be, I'd be going along that paved section. So anything like that where I want to change one or, or, or multiple attributes, I can just continue to segment that line. And what I end up with is essentially a continuous line you know, with each segment having its own uh, attribute values assigned. So I'll go ahead and cancel that. Well, I'll, so I'll hit done. So by the way, when you when you were done, done, done with the line, you would simply hit done at the bottom, which I'll do, and up top feature stored. And so now I would have stored that entire that entire line feature. Each segment is its own. It's actually its own section. So it's it's its own feature, but it's sort of a continuous continuous line. Okay, let me jump back into here. So the next function I want to show you is called nesting points. So nesting points is, is really valuable when you basically want to map points along a line. So say you're mapping down a sidewalk or you're mapping down a road, but you also want to hit, say, the street signs along the way or, or say, the gates along the way or the fire hydrants along the way or multiple point features, say, along the way. As you're, as you're mapping a trail, you want to hit the benches and the drinking fountains and, and the signage and, and that sort of stuff um, without having to, to retrace your steps. So this nesting points uh, function allows you to do that. Um, it's actually a shortcut to a, a, a different advanced data collection technique, which is, which is called continuing lines and areas. So I'll show you what I'm talking about there. But the, the nesting points is really a shortcut to continuing lines and areas. Um, when you are looking to, to do nesting points, the first thing you need to look at is, is your, your log now, log later choice. So for anyone that doesn't know what that is, it's a choice in TerraSync. The default is log now, which means if I initiate a feature, I would start logging that feature right away. So you better be set. You better be at that location, because as soon as you initiate that feature, the, the GPS logging would start instantaneously. Versus if you put it to log later, when you initiate a feature, it actually starts that feature off on pause mode. So it's really useful for a lot of things. You can actually start entering attributes before you even arrive at that location or before you're totally set to collect that GPS position. Um, so it just starts you off on pause mode versus starting to log right away. So when you're nesting points, this log now, log later really comes into play, and it makes a difference of how you're doing it. So if you're on log now, and you're mapping along a line, and you say nest a certain point, it's going to place that point right on the line, because you would not have a chance to get off that line. So, so sometimes if the point's on the line, great, like it's an inline valve, 
great, you put it right on the line. But if you have points that are sort of adjacent to the line that are actually off the line, so as a fire hydrant would be to a sidewalk, then what you would want to do is you would want to put it to log later so that when you choose to nest that point, it takes you into that, say, hydrant feature, but it starts you off on pause mode. That would allow you to take a few steps off the line or, or even 50 feet off the line. You could go way, way over there, grab a point, you could come back to that line, and then you could continue along, uh, continue on with that line. So I'll show you the log now, log later. That's discussed on page 101 on the Terrace and Getting Started Guide. Um, talks about the nesting points, page 105, um, and then the actual continuing lines and areas is on page 251. So the continuing lines and areas uh, function, what that is, is, is if you're mapping along a line, you can actually completely stop that line and, and close the line. You can go over here, grab a point, and then you can actually come back and continue the line. So the nesting is a shortcut. You don't actually have to stop the line. You just say options nest, and then boom, you can nest that point. So it's simply a shortcut to continuing lines and areas, but you can reference that section in the, in the Getting Started Guide there. So give you a demonstration of this, this nesting points. Okay, so here I am back in TerraSync. So if I was to, say, start up a sidewalk line feature. So here I go. I'm, I'm mapping along this sidewalk, you know, going along. All of a sudden, here's a, here's a fire hydrant that I would like to map that's, that's on my side. So top right, I would simply say Options, Nest. And then you see what that does is it, it gives me my choice of available point features. In this case, I have tree, hydrant, street sign, and, and point generic. So say I want to do a hydrant, boom. Right now, you see the logging started right away. So there's my logging, five, six, seven, eight up top. Um, so what I should have done is change that to log later. This would be good if it was an inline valve or a point that was right on that line, on that trail, on that sidewalk. Then I, then I wouldn't have moved and I'd be logging it right there. Um, let me cancel this one here. And let me actually cancel out of this line. So right here, before I open into a feature uh, in the data screen in TerraSync under Options, is your Log Now, Log Later. So let me just change that to Log Later. Let me initiate that sidewalk feature. I'd actually have to hit log to start logging it. So now I'm walking along that sidewalk. Uh, here comes my hydrant, which is a few feet off the sidewalk. I would say options, nest, hydrant. And now notice it starts that hydrant off on pause mode. So I could actually walk, I could sort of maybe kind of notate where I had left off on that sidewalk. I could walk right over that hydrant. And I could go ahead, once I'm set, I could hit log. Now I'm logging that hydrant. I can fill out my information. It's yellow, and it's a Mueller, and it's in good condition. And nine, ten seconds have gone by. I'll hit done. Feature stored up top. And notice it dumps me right back into my sidewalk. Starts me up back in on pause mode, so I would return to my location that I had stopped on the sidewalk. Bottom right, I would hit resume. And I'd be going along, mapping that sidewalk. Going along, here comes another hydrant. I would say options, nest, hydrant. Now I'm doing my hydrant. I walk over to it. I'd hit log. OK, this one's also yellow. And it's also a Mueller. Done. I'm right back into my sidewalk. Notice I'm paused with a 23. So that's a continuous count for my line feature that I'm mapping. And then each time I nest that point, it would simply allow me to place that point sort of adjacent to that line on either side. Um, also, if it's a polygon, you can nest points uh, within the polygon or, or outside of the polygon, so depending on which side of the, the line you put it there. Um, so then when I was finally done uh, with that line and with all the points I'm nesting along the way, I would simply hit done at the bottom, feature stored like normal, and, and I would be done. Uh, with that with that line and those nested points. 
So without jumping back into the uh, PowerPoint, I might as well just show you the tip and trick, tips and tricks right here. Um, so the tips and tricks for today is how to initiate and also how to terminate features from the map screen. So in TerraSync, commonly we go into the data screen and we want to initiate a feature. I would hit you know, tree or hydrant and I'm going to initiate that feature from the data screen. But if I go into my map screen, from the map screen in TerraSync, top right, that blue circle, if you hit that blue circle, it gives you your list of available features to create. So from the map screen, top right, blue circle, and I could say hydrant, and I could initiate that, that feature from the map screen. So now I'm logging that hydrant, filling it out, fill out the attributes. Of course, it dumps you right into your data screen so that you can fill out the attributes. Um, but then, say, I, say I'm back in my map screen, I'm looking at stuff, maybe I'm mapping a line and I'm sort of watching that line as I'm going kind of thing, and I'm ready to terminate that feature. Again, from the map screen, top right, red square would be, would be okay or, or close or, or terminate, uh, not terminate, but close the feature. So top right, I'm going along, there's my number ticking up, I can hit that red square. And feature stored, I just stored that feature versus having to go back to the data screen and, and hitting done. So the red square means done or, you know, okay, store the feature. So that's it. From the map blue circle, I can initiate a feature. And then also from the map red square, I can terminate a feature. So I don't actually have to go back to the data screen to, to, to open or close a feature. So jump right back into here real quick. Okay, so that's what I have. Um, if anyone does have any questions, um, I'm not sure if you can. Let me look here. Looks like I can tell if somebody does have a question. Um, if you do, I think you can uh, raise your hand there, and I can see that on my screen here. And then, if so, if anyone does have a question, let me know. Um, if not, right here is uh, the four of ours contact information. So here's me, Isaiah Mack, in Los Angeles. Here's Tony in the Bay Area. Here's Scott in the Sacramento area. And here's Kevin Brown in the San Diego area. So looks like we're a little early. And, and that was my, my plan was to not take up a, a lot of your time. It, it's only been only about 25 minutes. So let's see if anyone's got any questions here. The only ones I'm seeing are people saying that yes, the chat works and looks good, so appreciate that. Um, so I'll just give it one more minute. If anyone does have a question, go ahead and you can raise your hand there, and I, I can uh, you can type it in, and I can I can see what your question is. Uh, if not, please contact us uh, at any time, and we'd be more than happy to help you out with any of this stuff. Looks like Douglas. Uh, oops. Let's try this. Douglas, are you there? Do you have a question? I've tried to unmute, but uh, it's not working for me. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and conclude this. Uh, if you do have questions, please, please uh, go ahead, call me, email me, and I'll be happy to answer, answer those for you. And uh, please join us next month for the, uh, for the following webinar. Hope to see you then. Thanks a lot.